hello so in this video i'm going to show you how you can replace 100 different text element in one click okay now um this should be faster than you having to type them manually and in terms of find and replace you can only find and replace um a single text at a time in this method um as long as you have the list somewhere on excel with the old names you can just uh place in the new names on the right and then click on button then it should replace everything now i'm curious how long this is going to take so let me just bring in a timer and i will click the timer first and then that one very quickly if i can Okay, we have last few. One, two, three, done. Okay, so we did everything in two minutes and seven seconds, and we're able to change hundred, okay, of text individually. So we have our file here, and then we're gonna um start with um going there and Visual Basics. Um. I will be using other information from my previous um, my previous VBA class. So if you can go there, um, you can get the missing part. So to start with, you need to add um, a library, a Bentley library. So that should be somewhere here. MicroStation is fine. So now we're good to go. Now we can insert new module. And this is where we're gonna type our code. So. Okay, now as usual we need the start and the end. So I'll do the starting bit. In this part here, you can give it any name you want. Okay. So that's gonna create um the beginning and the end of the code. I'm gonna move it a bit lower. And now I, this part here I like to uh define my variables. So to start with, um I need the microstation connector. Now this bit here will connect Excel to microstation. Okay, and then also I need another one as well. So this is a connector and it's gonna open the application. And this is for the text. Now this part here is gonna look uh it's gonna scan through each element and then go to the other one. So one at a time. Okay, so now we have done all um the variables and now uh now because on excel we're gonna have um now let's see here so we have um from a101 up to a200 now let me put it in excel i'll call it with, with a station number so i'll say station one station one and going forward so in this case we have 100 stations okay so that's fine so now back to our code now for us is important for the um for the routine or for the code to be able to find the last row now to do that you, we're gonna put um again a code for finding the last row so this goes something like this um Good. So this part here will try to go through uh, sheet one, which is there. You can see, and then um, what I said here, I say um, go to row and count in column one. So it will check everything in every row uh, in column one. For example, here until you want to find the last row. So again, you will see why we need this one um, in a second. Um, now the last bit here is um, now this is where now I want to um. Um, activate the link between Excel to MicroStation because up to here this is still Excel on its own. So now I'm going to activate the link. Good. So these two lines here, uh, it will connect um, the MicroStation. Now the next step here is now I need to select this text here so that I can um, start. Um, going through each one of them now to select them I need to put um, a select code now this is a uh, you need to put a card input command so I'm gonna send a command 
and here I want it to choose all so this is going to select everything now at this stage um you can you can test and see if if the code works now before going any further so what we'll do is i will just run it and see if it does select so i'll click here i think i have a few bugs here yep i can see i missed an s okay now let's try again that's fine now if we here now you see now it's, it, it's been selected if I unselect now, um, I go back and do it again. Um, hit play. You see now it's been selected. So it is the link is there. It is working. So now we need to go to the next step. And okay, and to first unselect them. Now, so it means up to here now we're good. Now this is a bit where it's gonna do the replacement. So I want this code to go through loop, and I want it to go through um, each line. And uh, for example find that and replace with that and then go through it over and over again now to do this i'm gonna use the for loop now to do the for loop um i'm gonna put again define my code here i'm gonna look at each column and through each line one at a time now to do this i'm gonna start here so now the first part is um a column uh, sorry the row and then the second so it's going to look at um, row so here it says row and column so it look at um, so it's going to start from row one in column one okay and then up to the last row in this case it is lr that's how i've defined it and then also in the same column as well good so it's gonna look um, at every um, cell in uh, the first column, so the first row in first column, up to last row in last column. Good. Now um, to end uh, the loop, you need to put um, next. So this is gonna activate. Um, it's gonna set my model into the active model. So it's gonna look at whenever. It is active and then through that it's gonna um again uh, select the element okay so it's gonna look at, um it's gonna start doing something on those selected here i can see um i have i have chosen all and now this is me um uh, do something about the selection so it's gonna look um it's gonna move through each one and then the next one will be the current one Okay, so now this is going to select and then move through next and next and next and it will scan through the text element. Okay, so what to do next? Now this is part where we actually um, replace it. So first of all, we have two set of text. We have the old and the new and it's good if we rather than typing the long code, it's good if we just define it. So what we'll do is um, at this point here, I will actually define the set A and set B. So I can say set A, maybe this will be the old one. And so I want this to look at my um, worksheet. And then, th so it's gonna be now, it will look from um, from A2 up to the last A, but I wouldn't put the um, number of the last row, but I will uh, make it um, so that it is uh, dynamic. So I can say and, let me put and here. Um, and the last row is uh, so lr is the last row so this is gonna whatever the number that's gonna be it will put the number in here then it needs um the endpoint so the range basically is gonna look at the um, so the range could be bigger so it's gonna look, look at the whole range but then i want uh, a specific line now for specific line now this is the code for it um i'm missing something let me check what i'm missing so work shit okay i need to add a semicolon here that's it
okay see like there's one more thing uh, i'll call this set a i think because set is used here so can't i call set a so now it's fine so now so now um now with my set b this will be now the new text so i'll copy set a then change a to b now i want you to look at um my second column um so that would be um that one there now uh what the range does the range normally will select the whole thing but then you want the to be so that's a row in second column so it so let's be the set a and set b so now that's fine so this is up to there is for me to i'm trying to like um identify which is set a so, so i'm saying here if the value of my text is greater than zero then take action then replace my text now you replace set a with set b okay so that's that then to end that part we're gonna do my text rewrite good so um if you do a while you need to close with the wind okay i think that's that's really that's that's it really there's nothing much into it so um and again here that is the end of the loop so i like to put this so it, it makes sense so that next c is the end of the loop okay now after doing this now i wanted to unselect the text so because here i have selected them so i'm going to copy some command this time i'll change into choose none okay so that's gonna unselect the text so um let's see if um let's first test it and see if it works so i will um see what we have the a so this should be saying station now i hope everything is fine let me hit play okay that's a good sign but i should have maybe reduced the number of the text but let me see if i can have a sneak peek yep, it's working so you can see actually it's changing so the code is fine good there you have it so it's working fine i'm gonna undo now i need to save this one and then um as usually we need to add a nice and um clean button for someone to click rather than someone having to open the code so come here i think there it is and then do somewhere there then you're gonna link it to the code that's the code itself um say okay maybe rename it i'm gonna call it um okay so i have a case which i like to use this as a case so um what i've done prior is i have um let's say um you have you're working on a few stations and let's say if they're on different cities um i'm gonna open another file for now i need to close this one So let me um, attach the Bing map. It doesn't seem to load through that process there. There's other way as well. You can bring the Bing map and you can use um, file attach Bing map. And then yeah, attach. Hopefully, so this is fine. It's loading okay. So this is better. So okay, so rather than me typing these cities, now let's say um if I'm working on a project and I want to name all the stations now, I have here with me um a list of the station. Now if I open um and um so I want to uh quickly put name through that. So I'll start with A101. Uh so rather than me typing it um I'm just copy i'm just gonna copy and paste um now 
there's a there's an option in MicroStation you can copy text with increment. So you can see um that's there. It's gonna copy so this will be 101. So I'm gonna start with um if I see the station briefly. So I'm gonna put this to my other screen so I can go through them. So I have let me start. Yep. So I have London, and then my next one is Oxford. So it's gonna put 102. Then my next one is Birmingham, somewhere there. 103. My next one is Manchester. Manchester somewhere here. Where's Manchester? That is. So that's Manchester. 104. Then I have Leeds. Leeds should be somewhere here. That's Leeds. Leeds. And then I have Newcastle. Should be somewhere there. Newcastle. 106. And then I have Carlisle. 107. That's Carlisle. Then I have um, Glasgow, somewhere here, um, 108, then I have Edinburgh, um, 109, then I have Dundee, um, 110, and I have um, Aberdeen, 111. Good, so now we have everything done. Now to replace this one with um, the, the text, now I'm going to gonna remove the mapping for now uh, just to make it clear I think I might have to detach it good so now you can see now we only have numbers now if I bring this one here um, I can quickly replace them by hitting replace so that's all done it's all there you can see all the cities had been named correctly with one click. Thank you very much.